boys, girls, and intermediates, you might want to get your ponchos on. Because tonight on The Game Attic, you might get wet. And I mean that both literally and sexually. Because today we're playing Wave Race 64. Hells yes. This was one of my favorite games as a kid. And it's still one of my favorite games on a Nintendo 64 to this day. For a couple of reasons. Number one, look at it. D just look at it. You have eyeballs. You can look at things. You can see things. Look at how beautiful this game is. This was 1996 this game was made. I think this might have even predated Super Mario 64. And it still looks beautiful. It's so bright and colorful and vibrant. I love it. Like, a lot of early 3D games don't really hold up graphically anymore. I still think this does. Maybe that's just nostalgia blindness talking, but this looks beautiful to me. Reason number two this game is amazing. We'll go into options. Look at this. You can change the names of the racers. Right now they're, uh... What? Aw! They're all the default names! Oh, that's no fun! Past JoJo! What were you doing playing with the... What were you doing playing with the default names? That's boring as hell. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna fix this. And I know just how. Since I'm playing this game for YouTube, I am going to name it, name the writers after myself and my YouTube friends. So the first guy will be me. The female racer will naturally be Astral Alchemist. Oh, we only have space to fit Astral. That's fine. And, uh, let's see, the third racer, Mike Jeter, who has an absolutely insane turn radius in this game. I don't know if I'm gonna play as him in this episode, but... Like, he can be going 60 miles an hour and turn 180 degrees on a dime. It's ridiculous. He will be my good friend, Rookie Link. And this last one, he doesn't really have a YouTube, but he shares a Discord with all of us. Tor! There we go. Now we have our proper set of riders. We can go all in. And I do mean all in. We're going nuts to butts this episode. We are going straight to the expert championship. Which is not unlocked. Shit. Okay, so either the battery pack in my cartridge is dead, or this game needs a controller pack to be able to save. Either way, got no save data. I had to play through the normal and hard classes in order to unlock the Expert Championship, but it was worth it, because I want to show you guys all the courses. Naturally, I'm going to play as myself. Nope! Wrong! I'm going to play as Astral. Because I've noticed that when you play Grand Prix mode in this game, the uh, female racer always tends to rank last. Or at the very least, third place. I say fuck that. This is going to be the ultimate underdog story. We were like the Mighty Ducks going up against the Hawks. Astral, if you're watching this, I'm going to take you all the way to the winner's circle. Believe it. Three, two, and now that I put that out there, I better not fuck up and fail this. And end up ranking low. Because that would be really embarrassing after I just... Hey! Damn it, this is, this is an underdog story. I need to win this. Don't try to harp... Don't try to harp me. Tor! Tor, damn it! Keeps running into the back of my jet ski. Need to turn, you bastard. I... Mm. Oh, oh shit! So you might notice there are these uh, buoys in the middle of the water. You have to pass those on the left or right, depending on where they're pointing. If you pass them on the wrong side, then you take a speed decrease, and um, you get a little miss in the bottom left of your screen there. Five misses, and you're out. So uh, we're going to try not to do that. Oh no, am I going to get second place on the first race? Is this going to be the bad omen that we all expected? Oh, jeez. Wait, no. I can just cut it. Yes! Yeah, come on, come on! Yeah! Stole first place! Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Tor, get out of here! You didn't stand a chance! Welcome to Sunset Bay. Oh, Sunset Bay. Look at this. Look at this beautiful sunset. Oh god, the oranges and the purples, it looks so good! This game is so gorgeous! Oh, I want to take it into a dark room and do things with it. I I, I once... <laughs> I say that, but I actually once heard a story about a guy who loved, um... The uh, AKI developed wrestling games on a Nintendo 64 so much. I think in particular it was WCW versus NWR Revenge. They loved that game so much that they put that on a spoon and heated it up so they could smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> like, smoking a game cartridge. And all I can say is, damn, I wish I'd thought of that. Alright. 
Fucking Tor's giving me a run for my money again. I gotta catch up to him. I oh, he fell over. You can see in the uh, you can see in the right there when the uh, head dips underneath the uh, frame there. That means that the person just uh, fell off their jet ski. So I'm gaining some distance now. Yeah. Okay. So reason number three why this game is amazing. You know, going off of uh, that little tangent I had going. Look at these wave physics. Just look at them. It's so gorgeous. Like, it actually bobs up and down the real the way real waves do. You know, it, it flows. Everything. It, it, it's just like real water. It's so good. And you can even change how the waves behave in the settings. Like, you can make them more wild. Or you can... Oh, where... Where did Tor go? I didn't even see him. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Works for me. I'm down for that. But yeah, you can even change how the waves behave in this game. So if you want them to be more wild and, you know, get these crazy high, like, surfer level waves, you can do that. Or if you want it to run smooth as glass, you can make the waves more mild. Now, I know what everybody's thinking right now, like, Jojo, what are you... Are you serious right now? Why are you getting so excited about, like, waves and water? I sound like... I probably sound... Right now, I probably sound like that guy uh, on Miiverse. Who just commented on how great the water looked in every single game he played. And yeah, I realize I do sound like that. But you gotta understand, this was 1996. These, uh, these wave physics were really impressive for their time. I think this game even used up... This game uses up, like, somewhere between 70 and 80% of the Nintendo 64's processing power. And a lot of it has to do with those wave physics. It's just, ah, it's so good. Here we can, and here we can see that they're using the uh, Silent Hill method of making the uh, area really foggy in order to obscure the bad draw distance. There's a trick, kids. If you're having pr if you're having problems getting your game to run well with a high draw distance, just lower the draw distance and make everything really foggy. That's how you do it. But yeah, these wave physics were really impressive for the time. And hey, look at that! The fog dissipates, and we can see the draw distance isn't actually bad at all! It's actually quite good! Oh shit! Also, another fun fact, this game was going to, uh, feature, like, transforming boats. Like, these giant race boats that could transform. But, um, Shigeru Miyamoto decided, uh, no, let's make them- let's make them jet skis, because that's too much, like, Wipeout. <laughs> like, that is a- like... They were afraid they were going to get sued by the guys who made Wipeout. Or actually, I don't know, was it Wipeout? Like, uh, where in the article where I read this, they said, um, they thought it was too similar to F-Zero, but I think if Wipeout came out before this, or after this, I don't know. But, um, if it did come out at before this, then, um, yeah. I think Shigeru Miyamoto was worried about it being too much like wipe Wipeout. So instead, he made it about jet skis. Oh, hang on, can I, can I jump this? Can I jump this? Oh! Uh, kind of. If you're a big dick G, you can, like, catch the wave there and jump over the, uh... And jump over the barrier there at the start. Couldn't quite do it there, though. God. God, jeez. Tor is really giving me a run for my money. He's been right on my ass this entire, uh, championship. Oh, but he keeps falling... He keeps falling over, though. Keep fall, Keep falling off your jet ski. I need to catch up to you. I really need to catch up to you. You're like way, 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 way in the lead right now. Oh, jeez. Okay. Don't want to spill out on that. Oh, there you go. Yes, yes. Keep fucking up. Keep fucking up, please. Very much appreciate it. All right. And now the shortcut opens up. Yeah, see, see I, I remember, like, every little detail of this game. Like, right at the second lap, I know that that's when the shortcut opens up. I, oh, come on! Now I'm in third! No, no. I will not fall victim to this cabal. Oh, damn it! Rook Anthony, goddammit! That's Rookie Link's name, Anthony. You, you fucker! You knocked me off my jet ski, you bastard! You have no idea how to treat a lady! Alright, are we gonna take second? I think we're gonna take second. Oh wait, he fell! Yes! Oh yes! Tor, thank you for perfect- No! Shit! <laughs> are you kidding me? I was 0 .035 second- Like, not even- Oh my god, by milliseconds!
By milliseconds he won that. That was ridiculous. Look at that. Oh, I got so robbed. I got so robbed. All right, Port Blue, baby. Here we go. We're gonna make up for that. We're gonna make up for that. Tor, I swear to God. Don't ruin this for me. All right, there we go. We got we got a good uh. We got a good boost off the start. So you can see my power gauge down there. That goes up as you uh, pass more buoys on the right side. And if you uh. Ugh. So right now I'm at max power. And if you press A, like, right as the light turns green at the start of the race, you can actually, like, get all the way up to max power, like, right at the start of the race. So you really want to learn to nail down that timing, because the more power you have, the faster your jet speed goes. Hey, J Tor! Get away from me! You are not the god of thunder, not even close! You're the god of my asshole! Oh, jeez. Ugh. Alright, so far so good. If I lose by milliseconds again, I'm going to be really pissed. He's right on top of me, so that could happen. Ooh, I won by milliseconds that time. Look at that! God, we're getting some close uh, victories. We're getting some close races. This is good. Also, I can't help but notice that uh, JoJo Blue is in dead last. Like, a firm last place. He is dragging behind. So it's just like my real life. Hey! So this is the first track that's uh, locked away from you. You can't play this on normal mode. This only unlocks once you get to the hard championship. And then after this, there's one more track that only shows up on the expert championship. This is Twilight City, and I think this was one of my favorite uh, racetracks as a kid, just because, like, I loved all the cool nighttime and, like, the neon colors and everything. It just looks really pretty, and I also like the music. The music in this game is really good, too. I think it's by Koji Kondo. I could be wrong. It's either Koji Kondo or Kenta Nagata, one of those two. But yeah, the soundtrack is really bubbly and upbeat. I like it a lot. And, uh, that's, uh... And also, uh, kind of an interesting thing is that um, even though you're racing on a lot of the same tracks, um, the racetracks get slightly harder um, as you go through the different um, uh, the different difficulties. Like, it's not just adding more tracks. The tracks themselves actually do get harder. Like, for example, this shortcut I'm about to take here, uh, with this ramp. Um, in hard mode, you just... The ramp is a lot closer to the wall, so you can just jump over it. But here, you have to actually, like, hold up on the analog stick. And that will cause you to dive under the water. So that you can, uh, get into that little tunnel and make the shortcut again. Oh, shit! And there are other changes throughout the racetracks as well. Like, they'll put more of those, uh, spiked mines in the middle of the water there. So, yeah, it's just an interesting little way this game keeps, uh, keeps things more interesting. And keeps old tracks, uh, fresh. All right, so far so good. But now this next track is gonna be a doozy. So let's see how I do. Glacier Coast. Glacier Coast. Okay, I'm kind of scared. This I all I always had so much trouble with this track as a kid, and I don't know how much better I'm gonna do now. So hopefully I won't embarrass my entire family here. Let's go. Let's style on him. Yeah! Barrel roll! Barrel roll! Barrel roll! Shoot the barrel! Barrel roll! Oh, that might not have been worth it, though. I am now in third. Oh, sh oh shit! No! Oh, God, I'm dead! No, I'm not. I'm fine. Oh, God, I'm in last. Oh, jeez. Okay, I have to at least not get last. Come on. I mean, at this point, I'm high enough in the rankings that I'm that I'm confident in winning the Grand Prix overall. But I really don't want I really don't want to have that splotch on my permanent record, that splotch of having gotten last place on one of these. Get out of here, me! You suck. Barely. The joke is that I hate myself. 
shit. Yep. Yep. Bottom of the barrel for me. Oh, well. Nice try. Keep trying. Keep trying? You suck, map. but, <laughs> you know, keep at it nonetheless. Oh, man, I am sucking. Look at JoJo Blue down there. He's got 13 points. Oh, man, I'm sucking. I, like, that, that just figures, don't it? Even when I'm winning, I still suck. Oh, that's typical. All right, final race, Southern Island. This, uh, this track has an interesting little gimmick, and we'll get into that as we go, but... For right now, let's pass all these buoys. Killing it. Killing it. Uh, do I want to risk the ramp? Do I want to try to ramp over that? No, I don't. <laughs> After what just happened, I really don't want to take that risk of trying to jump over the bridge there. Alright. Hey, Perky Link, get out of here. Alright. Lap two. And now... You can see there's a little more fringe there. And this boat's up in the water. We're going to jump the boat. Yeah! Jump that boat. You know, I got, you know, I gotta admit, I'm disappointed that at no point in this game or in the sequel on GameCube do you get to actually jump a shark. I feel like that was a missed opportunity, but... Eh. What are you going to do? But yeah, you might notice that the water level has decreased now. And now the water's going to get even lower. So that changes up the track a little bit. See, I was able to get under the bridge there. Alright. Yeah, jump that boat. Okay, good. While, while I was playing this, when I was playing on the uh, hard championship to unlock the uh, expert championship, I, I got caught on the, corner, on the very corner of the boat. And I just got stuck there for like 10 seconds. Still managed to win the race, though. Rookie Link, get out of here. Get out of here! No! He's trying, to, he's trying to make me spit out! Rookie Link, damn you! These underhanded tactics of yours, I will not stand for it. Yeah! Alright! Look at that! Look at that lead! Almost 20 points ahead! Club can't handle me! That's what I'm talking about. We got the trophy! We got the 10 frames per second trophy! Oh dear. Oh, this game's showing its age. I gotta, I gotta admit, I tried playing Banjo-Tooie a couple months back, could not get past the frame rate. That's one of those games, like, I don't commend the, uh, I don't, I don't like to use the, like to recommend the Rare replays. Because of how Microsoft just kind of killed Rare, but I do kind of recommend it for playing Banjo-Tooie, because... Playing that game on the original cartridge, the frame rate is so bad. It's like unplayable these days. I don't know- I don't know how the hell we put up with it back in the day, but goddamn. Yeah, that's a game that needs the Rare Replay or an emulator. Just trying to play it on the original cartridge with like- in like two frames per second. Not happening. But this though, this is happening. We're winners, guys. And I'm still a loser, I was- JoJo Blue was in dead la dead in last place. And I like how I, <laughs> I got the flashing, you got a new record on this track where I got last place. Uh. I mean, I guess. Both my successes and my failures have been immortalized. And, uh, you know what? This is kind of a short episode, so real quick, we're gonna go to stunt mode. Select your watercraft, please. Uh, this time, I'll play as myself. I need to redeem myself after that. Your course, please. Uh, let's do Dolphin Park, because we haven't seen that one yet. Alright. Here we go, look at that! Stunt mode, baby! Oh, look at all those points. Look at all those stun points. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Crap. Catch up. Catch up. Catch up. Mustard. Ugh. Barrel roll. 
Okay, I'm back up to 15 seconds. That was close. I verily nearly just screwed over the whole Enterprise there. Oh sh- OH GOD! That was one too many barrel rolls. One too many barrel rolls. Did I- I didn't even- I didn't even beat the default score, are you kidding me? Oh, that's embarrassing. Look at that, I got the red letters instead of the fancy silver platinum letters. Nah, screw that, we're doing that again. I- I- I'm- <laughs> I need redemption, damn it. Here we go. Alright, do the handstand. Oh shit, I missed the ring. That actually fucks me up quite a bit. I just do a barrel roll. There we go. Now a backflip. Nice. Alright. Do that ring. Oh shit. Oh, come on. Okay, yes. There we go. Just barely beat it. Damn straight. Alright. That was Wave Race. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay dry, everybody. Wait, no. Continue. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One.